We had the camera Bravo constantly on the tether. Unfortunately, we don't see the tip of the boom, but uh, in a few seconds, you'll see the tether break. And this one, of course, was uh, not attended. It just recorded. It could not be bumped either, so it uh, will record steadily the whole uh, break and uh, coil back of the tether. Copy, Claude. Again, this is a view of the satellite. Well, if it had to break, it did it in the right place. Commander Andy Allen reported earlier that the tether apparently broke uh, inside uh, the boom in Columbia's cargo bay with only about uh, 10 meters of tether left attached in the cargo bay. Columbia and the satellite now 77 nautical miles apart. Again, that call reporting that uh, the crew can see the tether and uh, see the satellite. Uh, it's beautiful. This view uh, showing uh, the satellite. Again, uh, just moving into sunrise. 81 nautical miles now from Columbia. Franklin, uh, we see a long line, a couple of star-like things, and a lot of things swimming in the foreground. Can you describe what you're seeing? Well, the long line is, uh, is a tether, um, and uh, there's a little bit of debris that uh, kind of flies with us, and uh, it's uh, illuminated by the sun at such low angle. So this is just a lot of stray light and is getting washed out uh, quickly, but uh, Claude is trying to do a, a quick, uh, good job here adjusting the cameras. Copy that. Again, uh, that description by the crew, this is uh, the tether in the satellite, uh, the satellite with 12, approximately 12 miles of tether still attached to it. Columbia and the satellite are now just passing over the west coast of uh, northern Africa. The two spacecraft are now 90 nautical miles apart. Controllers for the satellite uh, did have communications uh, with it uh, during the close pass uh, between Columbia and the satellite. Columbia Houston, that's a much better view, uh, a lot more contrast visible. And how wide uh, does that tether appear to be? We, we see, it seems to resemble a, a much wider strand than we'd expect. Can you describe which way the, uh, the satellite is visible on that uh, strand?
satellite uh, now 100 nautical miles. Charlie, completely unzoomed, and uh, you see the full extent of the tether. I tried to adjust the focus, but I can't get better than that. Okay, Claude. Thank you. I'm going to zoom in now. Satellite uh, in Columbia now almost uh, 100 nautical miles apart. Controllers here uh, remain in communications with the satellite. Uh, they've been in communications with it now via uh, the payload interrogator on board Columbia, uh, using Columbia as a communications relay station uh, for uh, telemetry from the satellite. They've been in communications for about uh, 47 minutes, receiving a very solid uh, lock of communications with it. Those communications now are starting to get uh, some interference, however, uh, again, uh, the two passed uh, within 46 nautical miles of one another. The crew uh, first saw the satellite when it was 150 nautical miles distant. Uh, that uh, during uh, the past sunrise, during this sunrise, uh, this view shows the satellite again uh, here in the center of the screen with uh, 12 nautical miles of tether connected to it. At present, uh, the two now are 108 nautical miles apart. Columbia now ahead of the satellite. Continue to separate from it at a rate of 335, 335 nautical miles per orbit. There's a very faint, straight line becoming small and small and fainter. We still see it with you. Uh, it's remarkably straight. Thank you, Claude. Range and we have the tether. In the upper left hand corner there, straight as an arrow. Yeah. So it seems from here. Yes sir, we have it. Great picture. Uh, we got the downlink and we're looking. Okay, Claude, we see it now. 
straight segment and the same brightness of the whole length of the segment. Right now we don't really see the satellite itself, just a straight segment in the sky. the satellite now, it's like a bright spot at the end of the tether, and on the other end, the lower end, there's also a relatively bright spot, which is maybe an accumulation of the tether. And we are downlinking camera delta now. Okay, we copied and uh, understand uh, as you're viewing it on the monitor, the uh, satellite is at the top of the tether. We copy. Uh, do you see camera delta view? Affirmative. Last. Yeah, we just selected it, uh, Franklin, and we uh, see the satellite. Okay, great.
Columbia Houston uh, Fido's uh, showing the uh, satellite to be 719 miles away from Columbia. Well, that's uh, pretty amazing, and we were wondering if we were going to be able to see it at 20 kilometers. Well, that's, uh, that is an excellent data point. I guess in the uh, cosmic scheme of things, though, uh, even 719 miles is right next door. across the border between Central and South America and then track across the uh, lower Caribbean before making a swing across the Atlantic Ocean and a uh, tour across uh, northwestern, central, and southeastern uh, portions of Africa.